This video will be about connecting GoDaddy domains to Microsoft 365. So if you're using Microsoft 365 as a workspace, uh, you need to create some DNS records into your uh, domain DNS. So let's start by creating, uh, by opening two tabs and logging into your Microsoft Admin Center and your GoDaddy uh, Admin. So you want to go to your domain list here and in Microsoft 365 you want to search for domains. Click on domains and you are taken to the page with all the domains that you've created. So we will add a new one by clicking to add domain. Now you want to copy the, the domain name and click on use this domain. And then uh, Microsoft asks you to verify the domain ownership. So let's click on verify. And then click on connect. And then click continue. Now we need to create uh, three records into the GoDaddy. Uh, these are MX, TXT and C name records. So let's start from MX record. You want to find your domain here in the domain list. Click on three dots and click manage DNS. These are all the domain records already created for your domain and we are going to add a new ones. So click on add button. You want to choose M MX as a type. Name, host name is add and this is the value. And the zero here, that's the priority. TTL is one hour. And click add record. So let's add a new one. So the next one is TXT record. And the value, let's copy the value, one hour TTL and add record. And the last one is CNAME record. And the value, so don't worry if you make a mistake here and save it, you can easily edit it or delete the already saved record and start again. So we created three records. Normally it takes a few minutes for them to update, but let's try um, to verify them. So let's check the domain, the DNS records. So we have one SPF record. We have MX record and the CNAME record. All right, now we are done. 
Now we can continue and create the DQ. So just type it here in the search bar. So let's find the e uh, domain that we want to connect. Let me see if this is the one. Lab, yeah. Click on generate the key keys. And now you want to copy this. So you will create two. Uh, two CNAME records with these values. Click Add, choose CNAME. So the first host name is selector1 domain key and copy the value. Add record. Then the next one, selector 2, type is C name, paste the name, and paste the value. Close. Uh, now we need to wait some time for the records to update and then uh, we can click on uh, this toggle switch and enable the DKIM signatures. So let's see, maybe they have updated already. Okay, let's uh, wait a bit more and then try again. All right, click OK. Now the DKIM signatures have been activated. And we can continue and add the last DNS, that's um, DMARG record. So let's go to GoDaddy, click Add, choose DXT, name is underscore DMARG, and value. I'm going to copy the value from our help article. You can copy as well. You can create your own or you can use some of the online tools to generate your DMARC. Uh, just don't forget to replace your um, email here. So instead of the generic one, put the one that you want to receive the reports on. And now that's ready, we can click on Add Record. Now you can go ahead, uh, go back to Microsoft and create users for this domain. Then you can connect those users to Instantly and start the warm-up process.